Hello, this is Hiroshi Amazoe. Last time I made a video called Suicide and Consciousness. And I received a lot of opinions and impressions from people who watched it from YouTube comments and direct message from SNS. Thank you very much. I got new hints about suicide and consciousness from reading them. And this time, based on these hints, I would like to go further and talk about the ultimate mystery. Does consciousness exist after death? But first, I would like to add something to my previous video. In the previous video, I said that suicide is a self-contradictory act because by committing suicide, you deny your motivate and reason for committing suicide. For more details about this, please see the previous video. As I said in the previous video, there are many reasons why people want to die. For example, in this world, there is strong suffering that is uncontrollable, such as when people got persistent strong physical pain due to some diseases. People in that kind of strong suffering may commit suicide even if there is the conceptual self-contradiction mentioned in the previous video. But who don't have physical suffering and have the conception of wanting to commit suicide, once they realize that self-contradiction, I thought that some of them may be changing their way of thinking, but I'm not sure, I don't know, but in any case, I think the most important thing is that the society that makes people want to commit suicide must change. And I think that people who want to kill, the, kill themselves should be helped before they do it. I think that is the most important thing. And now I'd like to talk about the theme of this video. Does consciousness exist after death, which is the ultimate mystery? Many religions around the world depict an afterlife, such as going to heaven or hell or reincarnation and so on. The underlying principle common to all of them is that our consciousness continues after our physical death. If it is true that our consciousness continues after the death of the body, then it would not be a self-contradiction to commit suicide for suffering in the present body. However, there is no scientific evidence that con consciousness continues after the death of the body. There are only a lot of hypotheses. All of them, including religious ones, are just hypotheses. So I think that we should not take the irreversible action of suicide by believing in something that we do not understand well yet. And in this video, I would like to share my hypothesis about the afterlife. So let's begin. I think that when we die, all separation will disappear because life is based on separating and distinguishing something from something else. Me, external entities, external materials, external things. Everything can exist by separating and distinguishing them. And when there is no more agent to 
separate and distinguishing by death. There is no more separation, and everything becomes identical with all things in the universe. When all separation is gone, I, you, he, she, they, it, all disappear and merge into one thing. So if you are conscious at the time of death, you will probably see a process of dissolving yourself into all the things of the universe. And if you are still conscious after this, you will be one consciousness that integrates with everything in the universe. I don't think we can understand what state of consciousness it is as long as we are alive. Because as long as we are alive, we will continue to separate and distinguish something from something else. So this is my hypothesis about the afterlife. But anyway, it is just a hypothesis. So I'm not sure. However, there is something that I know scientifically about our afterlife. As I said in another video, our existence will remain after death as long as the universe continues. This is a scientific fact. It is not a hypothesis about this part. Because our universe is based on the influence of all the living beings that have lived before us. Even the tiniest impact made by someone a thousand years ago has been left intact in this universe. And it is manifested in a different form in front of us. For example, please see the glimmer of the ocean. Maybe someone who lived a thousand years ago threw a small stone into the sea, causing a slight effect on the depths of the ocean floor, and it may be manifested as a slight difference in the way the sea surface glitters today. Also, small phenomena can become big phenomena, like the butterfly effect. The flap of a butterfly becomes a typhoon. The reality we see is an accumulation of an enormous number of events that happened in the past, including very tiny events. So, even after this, our existence will not be lost as long as the universe continues. However, we do not know about consciousness after this. Will it disappear or will it continue? We only have a hypothesis about what happens to human consciousness after this. We do not know what happens to our consciousness after this. So I think there is no need to throw away our lives believing in something with unclear evidence. And most importantly, we will all die eventually even if we don't commit suicide. We will die sooner or later. We have already been promised anyway. So there is no need to rush to die by suicide. So in this time, I talked about the does consciousness exist after death. Thank you for watching. And I'm running a Discord community called Global Hikomori Community. I'm currently working on a project in there. The link is in the description section of 
this video. If you are interested, you are welcome to join. And I'll continue to post more and more videos on this YouTube. If you are interested, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.